That's how the game went yesterday. Hello, my soccer universe. Um, I can't believe it. I'm talking about PSG reaching a Champions League final for the first time. I remember that uh, in 95, they probably could have also made it. I know they lost against Milan. You know, Milan is my favorite team, but I had the feeling that I probably would have liked uh, Ajax PSG uh, final back then. Uh, the footballing reasons a little bit more, but hey, it is what it was back then. And now PSG made it, made it to the final and it was quite easy. I did not expect that. Um, in a way, I think it was down to two things. One thing that PSG did is that uh, the way Tuchel set up the midfield with Herrera, Paredes and Marquinhos, uh, in addition to, of course, Di Maria coming back and how good is Di Maria? Wow. Uh, I think he's one of the most underrated players uh, around because whenever he plays, it's really wow. Uh, he can make a difference. I still think that if Di Maria would have played the World Cup final in 2014, Argentina would have very well won that one. So yeah, uh, and that midfield, they kept things super tight. And then if you have a, such a front three with Di Maria, Mbappé and Neymar, wow. Uh, it was a joy to watch and I don't know what they did to Neymar. I think he, never, he, he was only once tempted to roll a little bit more, but usually when he got hit, he fell down, he get up again, no theatrics. That's a Neymar that I actually like. I really like this Neymar and he is motivated. He plays great. I mean, so yeah, that was the good thing that PSG did. But the other thing is um, Nagelsmann changed a little bit their play around too much. Um, it felt he was adjusting too much to PSG and kind of got the rhythm out of uh, his own team. And yeah, uh, so you had kind of a deep... Uh, midfield you had three on the back it never really worked to be honest uh, it was kind of easy i mean psg i think in, after five minutes neymar had the first chance very nicely uh assisted which just the ball kisses the outside of the post and yeah neymar is missing chances uh that's maybe the only thing that, that you can say against him at the moment uh and then Actually, I, I, I actually forgot to take my glasses off. Do you see? That broke off, so that's why I have not been wearing glasses now, but at least in front of the computer I can. So yeah, um, it should take it just uh, very quickly this way uh, if I wear them out. So that's why I have not been wearing them in videos. But hey, maybe you have not even realized that I'm wearing glasses. So yeah, uh, and I thought already, yeah, PSG looks good and PSG got actually quite some pressure on. Uh, and then they got, uh, they had a real pressure period where they had things the three corners and a few free kicks. And from one of those free kicks, it's Neymar and Di Maria stands saying that Di Maria, uh, gets it in and Marquinhos can head it free header. It was actually very well how, um, the defender was pulled away, uh, from Marquinhos who had done a free header. And I found, found it very interesting if you watch his posture. Uh, when he hits the ball, he still can't kind of read and then he goes like this. I found that interesting. And from that moment on, it was all PSG. They quickly could have made it 2-0 thereafter. Um, but then was a short period, a really short period of um, Leipzig, where I think the best thing was when Lima uh, got into the box and his cross uh, didn't find Paulsen. That would have been dangerous, but was never to be. Um, I think the most remarkable thing was that, I mean, the interplay between Mbappé, Neymar and Di, Di Maria was a joy to watch. Um, the way that PSG pressed and Leipzig and boxed them in, I mean, they barely could, 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 could get it out of their own half. It was really easy for PSG. And then I think there was this free kick from way outside on, on, on the right where Neymar wanted to kind of surprise Gulagi and it just hits the post. I mean, that would have been a goal. Uh, that would have been deserving of the occasion. I thought, mm, 
is really a PSG only going with a 1-0 in, in, into the half, that might be dangerous. No, they get the second and similar to what we talked about Inter against Schachter. Dude, this is, uh, and it was not even that intense, it was just very well done. Um, that um, Leipzig just could not find a way out of this. And even the keeper, they're so used to playing out from, from the run back that he plays it out. It is intercepted. I think it was Mbappé, but I'm not 100% on that. Uh, the ball, um, who, um, this gets a cross in that Neymar wonderfully with his back heel flicks towards, uh, Di, Di Maria, who with just a touch can get it into that. It's 2 0 at a half, fully 100% deserved. I was then interested in how the second half will play out. And I think at the beginning, um, Leipzig tried a little bit, but it did not last long. And I don't know what happened, uh, if before the third, third goal, there was an attack by PSG and, um, uh, defender for, uh, Leipzig, um, Mukiele just decides he to fall down. I guess he wanted to, uh, get a foul. Of course, did not get it, uh, and Di Maria can take the ball of him, whip it in, and Bernat, little Bernat, can head it in free. And he would have been outside if Mukiele was not lying there. So that was that. Um, Leipzig and tried to maybe make a consolation goal, but I think it was never the cover. I mean, that PSG could play home quite easily. Maybe could have added a fourth uh, ball whatsoever. Um, and yeah, they even managed to bring on Verratti, which will only strengthen the midfield. I have to say this, PSG is obviously this, this collection of great individuals. Um, yesterday, I have to tell you what I saw from PSG it was a really good, solid team performance. Uh, you have the three stars up, up front, and I think it was good that Icardi was there because those three are really gelling. Mbappé, constant uh, threat, uh, always willing to go forward. Neymar, very creative. The only thing is missing, uh, that's missing is finishing. And Di Maria, to me, gives this extra. Uh, he just changes that game. Uh, he makes it even more dangerous because he's super creative. He's super slick uh, in his moves and he can set up and score goals. Uh, it's a fun, fun thing to watch those three up front. And let's see who they will be playing against. Uh, note that on their way to the final, PSG has already eliminated two German teams. They are now, if we go by, by the odds, it's odds on that they will face Bayern, which will be the biggest test. But I'm actually happy that not only have I found my PSG love, which had been frozen for a few years, again, I, if Neymar continues playing like this, I might actually come around to uh, be not so negative against him because I really hated everything about him. But, you know, on the other side, I think PSG really deserves for what they put in and, and so on. They really deserve to get where they were, they were going. Not be the joke uh, that they have been so far anymore. Yes, favorable draw. It has to be said, I mean, the only big opponent, they got Dortmund out of the way, which was a little bit harder work than they needed. Um, they were expected to beat Atalanta and Leipzig. I think Atalanta, yeah, they were the better team there as well. So, yeah, we'll see how it, how, how it goes. If they will face Bayern, I think that would be a tremendous final. I think still Bayern favored, but I think it would be very in interesting to see with Bayern's high line how the three superstars would play with that um and yeah even and if it's leon an all french final i have to say i actually would love to see an all french final uh with all the stick that league uh, has been getting even from me in the last season a little bit i have been watching league uh, before i actually decided to give league uh, a little bit more love i was about to not cover it uh at least not rare re regularly i think i'm gonna I decided I'm gonna actually, they are starting this weekend. Uh, not sure how much we'll see from that, but I think I will talk a little bit more about League R in the meanwhile. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Any comments on the game yesterday are very welcome. I've been looking at this PSG jersey that they were wearing yesterday. Um, it's not the classic, they're, 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 that's a new, new one coming out, but I, I have this one and I think this is, this is the better version of that one. 
but uh, there's something I like. I like about this dark blue, and then yes, this the white is too thick. That was a little bit, yeah, whatever. Uh, you have seen my League of Legends jersey, but if I have to look at it, it's, it's on sale. I should not, but maybe I will get it. Anyway, give me a thumbs up, enjoy this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel, as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.